this feels smooth and not sticky. So get as much water as you need to make sure it feels that way. So I am squeezing and I'm pulling up. So the first step to centering is gonna be coning. So this is actually a really nice cone here. And then we're gonna go ahead and push it down into a dome. So for the dome, I'm gonna have my left hand here and I'm gonna use my palm and then I'm gonna take my left elbow and I usually put it into my leg, although sometimes I adjust. But the point is that you're really resisting against the clay to make it on center. And then I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna put it down on the top. I make sure that these two hands are working together. They're not two separate hands like this. They're touching each other. And I even take my right thumb and I usually reach it over. And actually I'm touching my left hand like that. So when I push down, you're gonna notice that I'm actually pushing it away from me and, it, and the clay sometimes angles and that's okay. There we go. So I'm just trying to stay as steady as I can with that left hand and that's really important. All right, so now I'm gonna cone and dome this at least three times for beginners. So I'm squeezing in really tight and I'm starting at the bottom and I'm working my way up, okay? So every time that I pull again, I'm gonna go all the way down and then pull all the way to the top. A common mistake is to just squeeze really, really hard and then actually like pull the clay off of, off of the wheel head. If that happens, I usually just encourage my students to start over. Sometimes they'll try to just like shove it back down and I found that then you're gonna get air bubbles and you're actually gonna get a much bigger mess than you had before. So I am pushing it down again into the dome. I'm gonna keep my wheel head clean so that I can see what's going on. There we go. Okay, so I got a little bit of what I call a volcano. And so what that means is that there's an indent on the top that I didn't intend to be there. This can happen um, pretty easily and so um, it's not too difficult to remedy here. What you're gonna do is push down on the edges and then just pull up again. And if you're unable to get rid of it, then what I recommend is just pinch at the very top, just like that, and remove it. Um, oftentimes what I'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and just make this so that you guys can see. I'll get what I call a mushroom, where the person throwing on the wheel is going to get an indent down here and then it's gonna be a little bit bigger at the top. So if this happens, it just means that you're pushing unevenly with your left hand. So I actually feel like I use um, this portion of my hand right here the most um, and it allows me to get a more even edge. When I throw using the, the central palm, I found that I actually get more of um, a mushroom problem because of just the way that your hand bends. Okay, to fix this, what you're gonna do is just push in evenly and make sure you're pushing down at the same time. There we go. And you can even that out. 